Hi, I'm Brett Cameron from Cameron Hypnotics in Newcastle, Australia. And I'm bringing to you another story in my series of metaphors for hypnotherapy. And this story, it's a story that I like to sometimes just read to a client. And sometimes I'll just pull a book off my shelf and say, I just want to share something with you. And this story is something, it's a story that I like to share when a client is so overstressed, they've lost focus, they're taking on so many things that they've just lost focus on the things that are really important to them. And I just want to give thanks to Dr. Rob McNeely, uh, the beautiful Rob McNeely from Tasmania in Australia. Lovely man, lovely teacher, very, very experienced uh, hypnotherapist and a trainer. And from his book, or one of his books, I just want to read this story. And I'm going to read it because I think the telling of the tale is in the wording that he's used. I could add my own words to it and you might find you're, you're going to do the same. And the story goes like this. An American investment banker was at the pier of a small coastal Mexican village when a small boat with just one fisherman docked. Inside the small boat were several large yellow fin tuna. The American complimented the Mexican on the quality of his fish and asked how long it took to catch them. The Mexican replied, only a little while. The American then asked, well, why didn't he stay out longer and catch more fish? The Mexican said, he had enough to support his family's immediate needs. The American then asked, well, what do you do with the rest of your time? The Mexican fisherman said, I sleep late. I fish a little. I play with my children. I take siesta with my wife, Maria. I stroll into the village each evening where I sip wine and play guitar with my amigos. I have a full and busy life. The American scoffed. I'm a Harvard MBA. I could help you. You could spend more time fishing and with the proceeds, buy a bigger boat. And with the proceeds from the bigger boat, you could buy several boats. Eventually, you would have a fleet of fishing boats. Instead of selling your catch to the middleman, you would sell directly to the processor, eventually opening your own cannery. You would control the product, processing and distribution. You would need to leave this small coastal village and maybe move to Mexico City, then to LA, and maybe even to New York, where you can run your ever-expanding enterprise. The fisherman asked, but how long will this take? To which the American replied, 15 to 20 years. But what then? The American laughed and said, that's the best part, because when the time is right, you can announce an IPO, you can sell your company stock to the public, you can become very rich. You make millions, billions. Billions? Then what? The American said, well, then you could retire, move to a small coastal village where you can sleep late, fish a little, play with your kids, take siesta with your wife, stroll to the village in the evenings where you can sip wine, play your guitar with your amigos. And what I love is when I tell that story, I just pause at the end. And you just see someone nodding, going, yep, I get it. I get that. Because it's about setting our priorities. What is really important in life? And sometimes just telling that story, it allows someone to go on their own journey. Their own journey of, of their own self-discovery. So they can work out, are they out there trying to buy many different fishing boats to set up the cannery, or maybe they could just 
focus on what's really important to them. I hope that this story works for you. And I look forward to bringing many, many stories to you. And that's just a small story, but don't be afraid to take a book off your shelf. And if there's something there that really works and talks to the need that you're wanting that client to solve, well, tell them the story. And it's through storytelling that we're inviting the human imagination to go and look for that solution. I'm Brett Cameron from Cameron Hypnotics. And hey, have a look at all the other metaphors that I'm sharing with you. And if they appeal to you, well, like and subscribe and tell your mates. I look forward to bringing many more to you.